Hi everyone, and welcome to the PCM Integrations How-To Series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect to our direct mail API via Zapier with the Go High Level CRM. What this means is that by the end of this video, whenever you create a new lead in Go High Level, it will automatically send a postcard to them through Postcard Mania. But before I get to the setup, we're also happy to announce our Zapier packages. If you need extra support with setting up your Postcard Mania app in Zapier, including a custom workflow, these packages could be just what your business needs. For more information, email us at sales at pcmintegrations.com or visit our website at pcmintegrations.com. To complete this integration, you'll want to make sure you have all three accounts set up. These are your Zapier account, your Go High Level CRM, and of course, your PCM integrations portal. To begin this integration, I'm going to have you start by going to your Zapier dashboard. From here, we'll have you click on Create and Zaps. So to create a new Zap, you have to designate at least two different elements. One is the trigger, which is what launches the workflow. And the second is the action, which is the achieved result of the workflow. For this relatively simple workflow, I'm going to start with the trigger and I am going to type in lead connector. Lead connector is Go High Level's white labeled Zapier connection. From there, I'm going to click on the event drop down and just for now select pipeline stage changed and hit continue. Next, we're actually going to log in to Go High Level. So I'll click sign in, which will bring up this dialog box, which is asking for the API key of my Go High Level sub account. To find this, I'm going to scroll to my Go High Level CRM tab in my browser. From my Postcard Mania sub account, I'm going to click on settings. In settings, I'm going to scroll down until I see API key. And you'll see it's right there. So I'm going to copy that, copy that into my clipboard, hit OK, head back to Zapier, paste that into this input box. And once I do, I can click on Yes, continue to lead connector. So this will launch me back to Zapier and you'll see that my lead connector account is configured and I can hit continue. So now I will actually configure the trigger, which is where I'll say what I want to happen in Go High Level that sets off this Zapier flow and ultimately ends with the sending of a postcard through PCM Integration's Direct Mail API. So to do this, I get to start by picking the pipeline in Go High Level. This is the opportunity pipeline. So it's a list of opportunities in a particular marketing pipeline. And then I'll say that I will pick the stage, which is that I want to send a postcard to all new leads in this marketing pipeline. Once I set that, I'll hit continue. And now we can test this trigger. So I will click test trigger. As you can see, it is pulling a lead from that particular pipeline stage, which means this configuration worked how I intended. So then I can click continue with selected record. Once I do that, now I get to set up the action portion of the zap, which means I'll click on or search for postcard mania. Then I'll choose the event, which is only one send a postcard. I'll hit continue. Now for this stage, you'll want to make sure you have your PCMI account logged in and ready to go because we'll hit sign in. That'll bring up this form and you'll see you need your username, your password and your API key. So I'll start by typing in my username, which is just my email. And then of course my password, which I'll retrieve. And to get the API key, I'll have to go to my direct mail portal and then at the very bottom, click on API keys. You'll have two different types of API keys. One is the sandbox key, which is used for testing. 
so it won't create live orders, and the other is the production key. And as you're trying to set up direct mail through your CRM, you'll want to use the production key. But I'm going to grab this sandbox key and head back to Zapier, and then paste it in the box and click continue. So this establishes my connection in Zapier to Postcard Mania, and once I do that, I'll hit continue here and designate an action. The first step of which is going to be to designate a design ID. Now, a design ID is the ID for the particular design of the postcard that you're going to be sending. You should already have set this up in the Direct Mail API portal. To choose mine, I'm going to click on Choose Value and then search for the name of my template, Salesforce Promo. There it is. Once I click on that, it'll pull in all the necessary fields to set up this design. So first I'm going to select Mail Class and I'll choose First Class. And then we're going to start pulling data from the lead connector. So I'm going to scroll down to First Name. And this is all going to be information that comes from your Go High Level sub-account. So last name, address, and so on. And once this is all filled out, I'll hit continue. And then we will have our test info. So you can see it's pulling the recipient name from Go High Level, and I can test that step, which will feed this recipient into our API and create an order, which it successfully did. And as you can see, it's all verified and successful. So now that I've done that, where I've set up the first two steps of this zap, I'm going to hit publish. And this is setting up this workflow and making it go live. So whenever you add a new lead to your Go High Level pipeline, it sends a postcard. And so to finish it up, I'll just change the name, lead connector to postcard mania. And then we'll just add new lead postcard. Okay, and now that that's set up, we'll just head back to our Zapier homepage. And we might have to refresh this, so I'll just go to the dashboard and back. There's our live Zap, and it's running. So now the next step is actually to get this Zap triggered in production. So I'm going to go to my Go High Level account, make sure to click down into the Postcard Mania sub account. I'm going to click on Contacts on the left-hand side. And then I'm going to click on the little plus sign in the top left to add a new contact. I'll fill out this information. So John Doe. We'll scroll down. Looks like I can edit the address information later, so I'll hit Save. And yep, there we go. Now I'll scroll down on the left-hand side and type in the street address for John Doe. Of course, this is the important information for sending a postcard. And as I just type that in, I'll hit save. And once that's saved, I'll click on the left to exit out of the contact. And then we will click on Opportunities on the left-hand side. Now you'll notice that this is the Opportunity Pipeline that I configured in Zapier. So to get this new lead in, we're going to click on a new opportunity. And then we are going to search for John Doe. Once John Doe populates, we're going to scroll down and make sure that the stage is New Leads. That's what's going to trigger the Zapier workflow. And then we'll hit Create. And what that should have done is started the Zapier workflow and sent a postcard to this new lead in this pipeline. Now to confirm this, we'll want to go back to Zapier. So you can click on the Zapier tab at the top. We'll go to Zap History on the left-hand side. 
And yes, as you can see, this recent zap was a success. So that means that the creation of this new lead started the zap. So then to confirm, we'll go to our postcard mania tab. In the portal on the left hand side, we'll click on orders. And then from the most recent order, I'll click on recipients. And yeah, it's to John Doe. And this order came through from my Go High Level account through Zapier to Postcard Mania, which means that this integration is complete and it's running smoothly. So that is how you set up Go High Level to configure directly to PCM Integrations Direct Mail API through Zapier to send direct mail to your new leads or whatever pipeline stage you choose. That's all we have for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to go to pcmintegrations.com. But on behalf of everyone here at PCM Integrations, we hope you have a good one.